the key ingredient of an effective practical is that the, the students themselves have a clear idea of what they are trying to learn or what problem they're trying to solve or get information towards a solution to, from the practical activity. And I think that's different from saying that the teacher has a clear sense of what the learning outcome is supposed to be because the teacher, in a sense, knows too much, knows what the outcome should be. And the activity may make sense from the teacher's point of view, but the learners might construe its purpose or its role completely differently. And I think, I think unless the people who are doing it know what it is they're trying to advance their understanding of, what they're trying to find out, it's likely that they'll end up doing it either in a routine way, following instructions without much mental engagement, uh, and uh, learning very little from it as a result. Um, this is part of what is encapsulated in the minds-on, hands-on aphorism, really. But I think the key to minds-on is taking enough time to seed the question in the learner's mind before you introduce a practical task or encourage them to devise a practical task that might help them to provide the parts of a solution.